All right, game number four, just minutes away. Uh, it looks like we're heading to Sovereign. Sov. Sovereign Dom has recently face. been one of the most exciting to watch, at least on the tournament land scene. Yeah, absolutely. You're seeing a little bit more of AR play come back. And, uh, you know, FaZe has really kind of been leading the way with that Parasite. He's been running an AR, just watching from the cautions, looking over that B flag. I know, uh... If you're a FaZe fan, this map looks pretty good for you. This is one of their better domination maps, so we may be seeing that comeback happen, Puggett. <laughs> Sorry. You just burped. I just burped Puggett so just loud burped. in our director's ear. Yeah. It was quite entertaining. That was awesome. And then I heard him giggle from the control room. So, um, <laughs> adult giggling. conversations <laughs> aside. <laughs> uh, still giggling at yeah. you. <laughs> a little bit. So, let's take a look <laughs> yeah. at our players once again. Uh, let's, let's show some of these graphics, Brian. I want to show... Sensor, I think he's going to be one of the key players to watch, especially on a map like this. Getting on them flags. Who else from this phase team are going to be the key players to look out for you know, when it comes to Dom? I, I think on it, on Domination, I think, you know, you're always looking at Apathy saving those flags. And I think on this map especially, you know, we've seen Parasite run this AR and be extremely effective. Usually, you know, Dido known more for an AR player, I think, though. You know, for the betterment of the team, he lets Parasite run the AR on this map. So I'll be looking for Parasite to pick up, you know, those big kills on B from the Cautions and then lock down Greenside. I was so impressed by this team's performance on Sovereign at Gfinity. Um, Dito used to play that Caution role with the AR. Now he let Parasite do it, and he right. excelled. Like, yeah. both players excelled in their new roles. Dito with the SMG, and Parasite was just going huge with that Remington. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see if Parasite's going to use the Remington off the start here. You know, I haven't really watched too... I mean, obviously, I've seen him use it. I haven't seen if he starts off the map with it, or which, yeah, there he is. He does. So, he's going to probably take their home flag, I think, and then probably look caution. So, here's a look. Parasite, it's a mouthful. Let's see what he's up to. <laughs> it's a great emblem, right? That, what is that underneath the burger? Is that another kind of tofu patty under the lettuce, or is that? Uh, I believe that's some extra spicy Dijon. Anyway, uh, <laughs> back into the action. Theory's going to get the home flag as Parasite will get his. And already an assist coming out with the Remington, but here's really where he can do some damage. The wall banks with the Remington. Long range protection, unfortunately, not going to work out. Sensor coming off spawn has already taken fire, and in fact, it looks like Sensor is inside the base here, PK causing problems. Yeah, and you know, uh, it's actually a great neutral right there. Out of Sensor, botches the kill right there on Theory. You know, kind of kind of had a little bit of an easy one, which would have been nice you know, extend that kind of... You know, they don't have exactly, like, the worst situation. They would have been neutral against, you know, one flag. But uh, right now, you know, Nezlo pushing for that home flag take, but they're going to lose B, I think, because of this. Yeah, B is being taken. Nezlo was behind enemy lines. Phase with the B flag, but they're losing their home flag. Nestle's gonna get it uncontested. Now, CA split, Sovereign, one of the biggest maps in the rotation. Matt, what do you expect to happen next? What does TK need to do? Right, I mean, uh, TK, you know, I, if I was Nestle, I would just kind of hide out over here. You know, you have a pretty good setup, and if you are phased, you need to pick a flag right away as a team. Which flag are we going to? You see so many teams struggle with this pocket. They'll spawn Snake, and you see you know, one guy run towards C, another guy run towards A, and somebody going to try and challenge B. You need to pick one flag and flood it and just kind of reset the map. Looks like uh, they're finally going to go for A as Kunjar tries to adapt to it. He's going to get cut down. We're going over, though, to the base. This is TK's sp starting spawn, and FaZe has Parasite behind enemy lines. This is huge because while all the attention is on their base, other two flags are being locked down by the phase team, and they'll be positioned here to get the cutoff. Sensor needs to get this player off the B flag. Though. Yeah, you know, right there, I'm not too big of a fan of that play out of Parasite. You know, he pushed up a little bit too far. Some team had map control back, you know, fighting for it back after, you know, they were in that split spawn, which was very scary. You know, they were able to manage it pretty quickly. You know, now they kind of lost their kind of map control and setup. Sensor and Parasite getting B control. One player behind enemy line. Sensor can't stay alive. Apathy on your screen. Desperation nades coming in. And FaZe, you're currently down by about 15 points. We'll see. Can TK pull away? Right now, their, their lead player, as he's been all night, is Nezlo. 8-2, three captures. Try to get sneaky on A once again. Yeah, I mean, Nezlo, he's really been killing it lately. I mean, we talked about how he had a great G Finity event, and then, you know, it's pretty much carried over to, into you know, the league. And then, obviously, I mean, you know, you're looking at for him to have a big UMG Dallas this weekend. Theory in the mix, won't be able to get B-flag. Gunjar on the flank, gonna find one. 
Everyone battling for B at the moment. TK holding on to a bit of a lead, but they're letting their opponents get back into the game. Two flags for FaZe, and they're pushing for a third. That's going to be Parasite once again. Can he get this kill? Yeah, I mean, right there, big kill out of Parasite, but it doesn't look like he's going to push and try and take the flag. And He's going to let one of his teammates do it, and it looks like he's going to try and go back and watch the mid-map. Uh-oh. Parasite's got to react. Won't be able yeah. to get the kills. Theory doing the damage from up top. Meanwhile, A was taken for TK. So just like earlier in this round, it's C and A control for TK thanks to the flanks from Nezlo. He already has four captures. Yeah, and you know, it's really got to be attributed to you know, TK obviously playing extremely well. But FaZe also, you know, they'll get map control. They'll have a good setup, and they just play extremely impatient. They're not willing to take that 2 cap. They want to really push that three, and they don't push it effectively as a team. I'm switching through everybody who's about to get into an interaction. Here's Neslo once again, 10 and 5, double positive. Had a ridiculous 13 and 3 performance in Search and Destroy game two. Getting back into it, even when positive in that Blitz game. So really, he has been yeah. the sole star of this TK squad that I've seen. But I want to see what Theory's up to. He had a big stop on C-Flag earlier. Needs another one here. There's a stop, but it's neutral. Parasite still in the mix. We'll take him out, and this time Parasite is happy to get on the flag for FaZe. The rest of his team putting pressure on A. They do have potential for a three-cap opportunity here at the end of this half. Yeah, you know, 30 seconds right here. You have the opportunity for that three-cap. But, uh, you know, Puggy, I think you just need the points at this point. There's no yeah. point to really don't force the B. issue. Yeah, just don't lose B. Just take these points. If you can get A, uh, great, but don't lose your map control over it. I mean, and speaking look, of map they, control, look they what's happening. They ended up spawning them out, and they're going to, you know, at least neutral or take uh, C, and they're not even going to go get A. So, I mean, right there, as we were saying, you know, it comes from just lack of patience and, you know, kind of cohesion with the phase lineup. 20 so point difference, definitely something that phase can overcome, but uh, so far, it's TK with just more solid play style paying off in their favor. They're up 88 to 66, a 22 point advantage after our first five. I mean, it's just great team play out of TK right there. We were saying no face had definitely numerous opportunities, Puckett, to really just take over the map and just lock TK in. And they kind of just botched it by, you know, pushing up too far, pushing up not together. And, you know, it'll be interesting to see how they play the second side, if they can play with more patience. And, there you go. Yeah, you like those buttons? I hit them all. Uh, Theory, <laughs> once again, getting his home flag. I want to see what Sharp has been up to, though. He's been kind of the flanker with Neslo. He'll go on one side, Neslo pushes on the opposite, and Sharp's going to get a comeback kill here. Neslo, I keep him highlighted on your mini-map, already Huge pushing to kills see. right there. Big TK. stuff going on all over. Three kills in the kill feed here for TK. Only one from Sensor and Phase. Yeah, and, and look how Neslo is going to play this, Pucky. You look at the difference between these two teams is that, you know, Phase right there, they would have pushed for that C flag. And you see Neslo, he's just going to back up in between research and caution. And he's just going to watch and just pick up these easy kills. There's no reason to force that three. There is a player back at A. That looks like it's going to be Apathy causing the problems. TK trying to hunt him down. Their former teammate, it's Theory in the action. Theory not Ooh. being able to pick up the kill. Down goes Sharp up in the window. And all of a sudden, three down, left up to Goon to defend their flags. And FaZe now has their first legit three cap opportunity. They've got two members on B. It's being taken over. How does Goonjar react? Yeah, I mean, Goon right there, he really just couldn't make any kind of decision. But I mean, he's. When he makes one, I mean, he makes it pretty nice. I mean, he goes down into deep, <laughs> picks up two players. But it looks like, you know, TK, all he got to do is take back a home flag. Don't get too, you know, antsy with this. They just need to take back a home flag. They still have a pretty nice lead. See, battle's going down. That one is going to be lost as TK takes it once again from FaZe. And it looks like more action going down. Parasite trying to get in position up top control tower where he can watch B give good spawns and help out his teammates over on the C to push. But... Doing the math real quick, Matt, I think FaZe could easily just hold on to this BA control. Absolutely. But why do they keep pushing this back corner for C? I don't know. I mean, they, they could easily sit mid-map and just, you know, spawn kill and just get them off of B. But for some reason, they keep trying to push this three and put pressure on it when it's really unnecessary. I mean, right now, I mean, if Dito goes in here and, you know, he spawns the other team out at A and he doesn't take this, I mean, that's going to be pretty much lights out for FaZe. But it looks like he's going to be able to take it. But... I mean, obviously, no B mean, control. you're just flipping sides of the map at that point. Right, and you gave up B control because everyone pushed over towards C. Goonjar getting taken down by Sensor. Nice shots there from the player laying down. 
And now we're gonna see Apathy pushing on one angle, try to set this up for Sensor. Sensor gonna get in with Dito as Dito picks up the two-piece. Both players on the flag. They're gonna grab it back. So what was a 22-point deficit at the half, now just a four-point deficit as FaZe is mounting their comeback. Parasite behind enemy lines at A needs to defend himself. There's a player above. He pre-fires, won't be able to get it. It's Nezlo clutching it once again. That's a huge kill right there out of Nezlo, but I mean, it, it's kind of the story of this map bucket. We've seen that you know, FaZe, they just get too aggressive and it's really playing against him. Look at this play from Theory right here. I mean, he's able to just sit over at B and pick up easy kills. Gunjar switching over to the Remington now. I like this play right there out of Gunjar. You know, switching over to the Remington and able to lock down that green side. It's going to slow the pace down a little bit and, you know, add some more map control for TK, which is all they need right now. They just need to just pretty much just hold their lanes and win their gunfights. Nito and Sensor in the kill feed. Nezlo, last man standing. He's going to pick up another one. So two for Nezlo. Going for his third Ooh, the on this B flag. Robot blocking his shots. Assist comes in as Sharp will connect with the Semtex. So B. Neutralized, but not taken. Phase running out of time in this match. Down 11 points, 90 seconds left on our clock. Yeah, and you know, right there, they're gonna be able to pick up three and they gotta get on this B flag right away. I mean, Gunjar's gonna have to come up huge right here, you know, to block this. He's trying to shoot that trophy system. Looks like able to kill one. Looks like there's gonna be two other players on it, but they're actually both taken out. You know, big plays right there, but he's gonna need to defend A. This is gonna be a big kill right here. Gunjar putting pressure Ooh. on A, won't be able to do it. Parasite on the opposite end, trying to keep C control for the moment. As TK is going to be pushing their home base, we're going to have nice flank from Apathy. Apathy and Parasite doing work at C. Both players picking up kills. B flag is where all yeah. the action's at for TK. 10 points left to go, 45 <laughs> seconds. This one's going to come down to the wire, man. Oh, absolutely. I mean, this is where your composure comes through as a player, you know. You're getting that split spawn, which you don't want. You need to just play together, just remain calm, and just push one flag as a team. You see, you know, Apathy is able to pick up a lot of these kills. Puck, and you notice they're all one-on-one -on -one plays. There's not, there's not multiple players he's trying to fight right here. And it looks like we're going to have a comeback from this phase lineup. Phase trying to make it happen. Apathy, he's been a game changer in the past. We saw him go on an eight-point spree at Gfinity. That was the turning point in their match against EG. And here he is trying to go big. He falls. Parasite's there, though, with Sensor. Sensor regaining this B flag. They're losing C. Tie game down to the last seven seconds. And I think FaZe has done it. Yeah. Did they really? 153 to 152, our final score. Dito going big with the rest of the squad oh, in the final moments. Apathy and Parasite, though, with their C defense. Really the shocker for me. And, you know, right there, I mean, you, you kind of saw TK freak out a little bit at the end of that round. All they needed to do, Puggy, was just pick one home flag and just go towards it. And, you know, that they freaked out a little bit, you know, and... No communication, Yeah, man. no communication. FaZe was able to come out and take that one at the end. That was, that was a great game. They need a coach named Mr. X. Guys, we're going to commercial break with this score tied 2-2. Two, two. Mr. X said we we're going game 5. FaZe would take it. Will he be right? We'll find out. Get your hashtags in. Is it Team Calvert? Is it FaZe? Make sure you're hashtagging Scuff Showdown for your chance to win one of these. We'll be right back.